Hello, people. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, Manchester United fan just like you. In this video, I want to tell you guys five things we learned Manchester United against Brentford. This was a game in which we uh, we break the record. You know, this is the first time Manchester United has won a game after being uh, behind for 90 minutes. Well, for those of you who are young, 1999 all over again. So this was just, it was kind of similar well, the game against Bayern Munich in 1999 with Solskjaer giving us that goal at, in Barcelona and uh, we won the Champions League. But you know what? We have to rejoice. I wanted to give you guys now five things I discovered. And number one, let me just go straight to number one. Yeah, we went into a team where we had defenders. Our defenders, both of their ages, were 65 years old. Can you imagine? 65 years old for defenders, our central backs. Now, that's Harry Magui. And um, uh, um, Harry Magui played alongside with uh, the guy in Leicester. The name just went out of my head. But anyway, what I'm trying to say here is that we played this game. It was a very difficult game for Manchester United because uh, psychology, Kali, we were really down. That's a fact. And uh, talking about why we you can why it was the game mattered a lot for Manchester United, you, this picture just explains everything. You can see the joy of the goal from the club manager. This was a game in which there, many thought that Eric Ten Hag would be sacked. Did you think? Let me ask you guys a question. Did you think Eric Ten Hag would be sacked if we lost that game? Because personally, I think no. I think he, it would be a very. Um, I can tell you guys many reasons why it's not a rational thing to do. Yes, managers should lose games, should be sacked when they lose games. But this is not a rational thing because obviously, if you look deep into Manchester United, it's not. It is not really Eric Ten Hag's fault. If you if you're making sense, that um, yeah, but he could be sacked. But I don't think so. But and another reason why I think he cannot be sacked is because the Manchester United hierarchy. We have to pay him a huge amount of money. You see, so some of you watch Manchester United, you just watch the game, you don't understand the business part of it. It is a business at the end of the day, and United board will not be ready to give away that um, team uh, with uh, that money to a manager just like that because they understand it's not totally his fault. But yeah, let's talk to the, the second thing we learned is uh, uh, this guy, the goalkeeper, Andy Onana. Andy Onana is really... Uh, form is really not on point you know i'm a cameroonian and uh, i have some links with uh, those who are managing cameroon that's just a fact and uh, angria nana seems he might not be going to the european uh, to the african nation called afcon because he understands that if he goes there he will he will have to he might lose his position as the first goal for manchester united we all know that the premier league it's a very difficult league that and uh, during that period january february uh that's when uh, leagues are won and lose so uh, i think uh, i'm not saying we are trying to fight for a league but andro nana will be needed if we have to um uh, uh, uh go somewhere with the league so andreo nana for me personally he is not in his base uh, form i think for most of you i agree with that there are many reasons from that ten Hag needs to find it out and they need to sort that out he needs to build up his confidence they are very low in confidence talking about the team low in confidence let's go about to go to talk about the guy who i think was the man of the match and here he goes scott mctominy mctominy is a player which highly respected by most teams but I mean, Bayern Munich wanted to buy Mark Tomini. West Ham came with 30 million, we turned it down. But I still find it very crazy for turning down the 30 million pound. Let me just ask this screen to you guys. I don't know, some of you, fans are fans. Everyone, if you are a fan of a team, you support the team somehow. But, you know, fans can be, they have a segment. There's some who think critically, there's some who just love watching games. But do you think Mark Tomini would, so, um, would have been sold? If you were the, the, the owner of Manchester, will you sell Mark Tomini for 30 million? Because personally, I will do it. Why? Because I will do it with the condition that I will invest the money on a good, on better player. So I think McTominay is not a bad player, but I also think that he is not a top, top player for Manchester United. But you know what? I think Man McTominay did a fantastic job that day. The inspiration he brought. He brought tears into many fans' uh, uh, mind, And you can see that from... Uh, just this picture had the celebration with the team. McTominay uh, really needs uh, to be uh, the word the name McTominay needs to be echoed along these day uh, this week because honestly we would have been if we went to this international break without winning this game, even if it was a draw. Talk sports, Ale, talk sports, and all the 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 media in the UK would have just made documentary every day about crisis in Manchester United because let me say this word I won't say they hate Ten Hag 
but I'll tell you, they are jealous of Manchester United. They envy Ten Hag. Uh, that is uh, the job is uh, Ten Hag, uh, someone which they are not, they cannot get their sources from. And um, let me tell you something. For those of you who were unfortunate to see the, the 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 good old days of Manchester United, the present, the those of those those former footballers who never had a career in Manchester United, this is an opportunity for them to smash United. I'm not sitting here and saying that we're playing very well, no, but. I feel so sorry for the younger fans. For those of you, you, you can be you can be an old man, seventy years old, watching the game. But if you're young in football in Manchester United um, news and games, then you missed the best days of Manchester United. So Tenag came out uh, during the game, and uh, his reaction was spot on. Uh, Tenag just said it, yeah, about Scott McTominay saying, you know what, Scott McTominay, you see, he is a Manchester, he's an MUFC, Manchester United, in, in everything in his heart. He plays uh, for the badge, you know, he gives uh, his life. When you are coming on and, and you do this for the team, uh, it's uh, it's a lot. So Ten Hag it was just a bigging up McTominay uh, that, uh, and we all know, we know most managers have come to come who have come to Manchester United. They have, they really like the attitude of McTominay. While I was playing football, give me a second, I was not a hardworking player, but um, we had some players who were dedicated in football, and managers really like them. You know, uh, McTominay is that kind of a player, which I think um, he impresses coaches a lot during. Uh, doing games so that's you you can see the rationale why he is highly uh uh respected or uh, um, by many managers Solskjaer liked him Ra Ralph Rangnick liked him there was only all all he was talking about him maybe future captain Manchester United but there's something lacking in McTominay which I will tell you guys for free is that I don't think he's that talented uh to play a stable uh game for Manchester United so guys uh that is one of the few, few things I noticed one of the things I noticed also with Manchester United uh in this game is um I really really believe that um Ten Hag is in a, is in a massive issue problem here. I think Ten Hag really needs to sort out certain things here with Manchester United in the sense that he, he Ten Hag has given too much trust to players which are, are letting him down. I'm going to do a video about that uh, about players which I think are letting Manchester United down and uh, letting Manchester United uh, down or letting Ten Hag down this season. Because uh, we, I think we can do better. Manchester United, we have a, we have a good team. We have some areas in the pitches which are, are I think, uh, very disappointed at the moment. Talking about disappointment, I'm talking about a player like Casemiro, which I think, uh, yeah, I can't speak this enough. He's an, he's a very talented player, um, and most of you know this. But he has a kind of. Um, his form has dipped uh, lately, Casemiro, a player which most of you will, will see as a, one of the leaders of Manchester United. Most of all, especially someone like Ten Hag who think Casemiro can lead the team. Uh, I think if it was an injury issue, we would know. But we saw in that game that Casemiro, uh, there was something like a lack of concentration. When Ten Hag was asked, why did you take out Casemiro? He was very honest, just as he was honest uh, would... would um, Jason Sancho, just as he's honest with all the players, Ten Hag said, I want them more football. What do you mean by more football? I want players who will engage in the game and not play for for moments, but players who will really engage. And um, yeah, I think uh, he paid off big time. That's why while most of you came out and gave Ten Hag a 5, I gave Ten Hag a 6, maybe even a solid 7, because I think... When a manager brings in a sub and it works, you need to praise the manager. One thing I, I dislike in football, and especially the fan side of thinking, is you are very quick to criticize a manager, but you are not taking your responsibility when giving it as a fan. Because you are part of the stakeholders, one of the responsibilities you will do it now. Tell me what are your five reasons, five things, or five things you notice, or let me just say three things you notice about Manchester United this season. Like a football fan, or someone who loves tactics of football, someone who has, who knows, uh, who understands how a team has to play, what are the forces of the game. So please give, drop your comments below. I would love you guys to, to give me your input also, and um, we will uh, analyze that in the comment section. Without all says, guys, make sure you smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United Way TV, and uh, see you in the next one. We'll be talking a lot about Casemiro in the next few, in the next video. So stay tuned with us, and um, yeah.
talk to you soon bye bye